hello friends and welcome to youtube channel freedom tech and in this session what we are going to learn in this session we are going to use a cctv frame and we are going to create a people counter with the help of latest object detection model yolo 11 so before we move to our practical friends if you learn something from our videos please consider to subscribe our channel okay friends thank you so much and let's get started so friends as i mentioned today we will create people counter with the help of latest YOLO 11 object detection model. So for that, just open Thony Python ID, then go to the tools, manage packages, open CV hyphen Python and hit enter. First package, click on install button, done. It will install open CV hyphen Python. Then we need ultralytics, ultralytics package, hit enter, first package, click on install button, done. It will install ultralytics then we need a cv zone package hit enter first package click on install button done that's it it will install cv zone on our windows 11 machine so this is how install open cv hyphen python and ultralytics and cv zone on your windows 11 machine so for today's project i have created a new repository i will mention the link you need to simply copy paste the link inside web browser yolo 11 people counter go to the code Click on download zip and it will download our zip format repository. As you can see, we successfully download. And now let's just open file manager, go to the downloads. This is what our repository, right click, winrar, extract as a folder name. It will extract our repository as a folder, then go inside folder. Again, we have same folder. And this is what our video file, people1.avi. So, as I mentioned, our goal is to create a counter for both side people, means for enter and for exit, simple. So here we will say that this side is basically for enter and this side is basically for exit, as you can see, simple. So our goal is to detect person with the help of Yolo 11 and then track each person and then we will create a counter for both sides for exit and enter so now just open our code so this is what our main code let me close on title so this is what our main code and if i run the code then we have our normal object detection with the help of yolo 11 so it will download first yolo 11 as dot pt model So as you can see friends, we have our detection, we are detecting successfully person. Also there is a tracker, there is a by default YOLO tracker. So now it's tracking each person separately. Each person we have unique ID, as you can see for this person we have 17 ID, for this person we have 15, for this person we have 19, for this person we have 20, for this person we have 14, for this person we have 21. So this is how it is really easy to create a counter because we have unique ID assigned for each person. So we are tracking object, we are a detecting object with the help of YOLO 11. Simple. Now our goal is to create a counter. For creating counter, first we want to know that the person is basically exiting or entering. For that, for that we will use a line method. So cv2.line method. So this is what my line in red color and in pink color we have both line so if i start the code if i run the code now we have line on our frame as you can see so we have pink color line and we have red color line so let's just say this is what my first line this is what my second line so for detecting object and for counting we want to mention a condition so here let me show you this is what cy1 and this is what cy2 so cy1 is 261 so cy1 is basically pink color line so as i mentioned because we mentioned cy1 is basically 261 261 which is pink color so cy1 is my first line and 00255 the red color line is my second line because we mentioned like this way cy1 and cy2 so how to draw the line it is really easy because inside our code i have mentioned i have mentioned c2 dot event mouse move function so if i freeze the uh, frame i need to mention here a zero 
then it will start a manual frame means we have only first frame then if I want to skip the frame I need to press a uh, space button then I can simply uh, you can simply move the frame manually so this is what my first frame and here as I mentioned if I want to draw the line so for that I need this is what our start point x y coordinate and this is what our end point x and y coordinates for drawing line so because we have event mouse move function so if I move my mouse on the frame we have here x y coordinates so this is how this is what my first point so I have mentioned the first point like this way and this is what my end point for pink color line and so for red line same way this is what my start point and this is what my end point you can simply mention the points from shell because inside shell we have x y coordinates so I have mentioned the points for line like this way simple so now we have our line now for the, what is our condition our condition is if the detected object center point touch our line so here for that we need a center point but first for this condition we want to mention the start point y coordinate and end point y coordinate always same so for that the start point y coordinate here 286 also end point y coordinate is also same 286 for next line also 261 y coordinate here also 261 and then this both this this one and this one and for this line or this line y coordinate we want to mention as a cy1 and cy2 so cy1 is basically 261 this this 261 is our cy1 and cy2 is basically 286 286 and then offset 8 simple so now as i mentioned now we need our center point so how do we get center point simply mention like this way cx is equal to int x1 plus x2 divided by 2 and cy is equal to int y1 plus y2 divided by 2 and then cv2 dot circle cv2 dot circle we are going to draw a circle on our frame and then we will mention here cx and cy coordinates and then radius 4 and then let's just say 255 zero, 00 blue color and because we want to fill the circle let's just mention minus 1 done now it will draw the circle for each person for each detected person we have a center point in blue color as you can see so this is what my center point and what is our condition if the center point touch our line then we will create a counter now here because we don't want only the counter we want to know that the person is basically exit or enter means we want to create exit counter also for the enter counters for that we create two line so now we can say if the first if the person touch our red line of course if the person want to exit because we can say this person is basically coming from here so it's now exiting it's going on the road so we can simply say for this person this person center point first it will touch our red color line and then same center point touch our pink color line so we can simply say when the person center point touch our red color line in that time we will save their track id which is the one and we will save their coordinate means we will save basically their center point coordinate cx and cy inside dictionary and then we can say that if because now we have a unique id for this person we have unique id which we are saving inside the dictionary so we can simply say if the one id is from our dictionary is we are saving if the same id if the same id touch our next line which is pink color line then we can say the same person is basically crossing our next area means same person uh, center point is now touching our pink color line simple so this is what our condition now let's just start practical so here first this is what our center point so now we have here cy1 so cy1 is basically our pink color line cy1 is basically our pink color line 261 
टू सिक्स वन एंड कलर इज बेसिकली पिंक टू फाइव फाइव जीरो टू फाइव फाइव नाउ ऑन द फ्रेम द पिंक कलर लाइन इट मी स्टार्ट द कोड सो पिंक कलर लाइन इज दिस वन एंड दिस वन इज रेड कलर सो इफ वी मैंशन पिंक कलर लाइन फर्स्ट सो वी विल क्रिएट अ काउंटर फॉर एंटर बिकॉज वेन द पर्सन वॉन्ट टू एंटर first it will first it will touch the pink color line and then the same center point touch our red color line so let's just create the counter for enter first so here i will mention like this way if cy1 if it is less than our cy because our cy is a center point cy plus offset and cy1 if it is greater than cy minus offset then then what we will do then i want to save their coordinates inside dictionary for enter so here i have create enter uh here this one imp inp inp is basically for entering enter uh, entering this dictionary so inside this imp i will save the track id and their current coordinate when the person center point touch our pink color line so here i will say like this way this is what our condition and after that i will mention inp which is our dictionary and then what we want to save we want to save their track id track id this one track id we have here track id with the help of our yolo uh, yolo object detection 11 which is our by default tracker so inp we are sending a track id inside dictionary is equal to their current position so what is their current position their current position is basically cx and cy center point cx and cy simple now if i print here print i and p and then let's just start our code now right now as you can see for this person is is basically already cross our pink color line that's why our dictionary is empty let me show you here because because right now as you can see we create we not create a condition for this side for exit side that's why we have a both side both side unique id and their current position we have both side current id and unique position watch for this person we have three so let me show you here as you can see when the person touch the line we have three as you can see this is what three for this person id and their current position their current position we have here seven also let me check here because this person is already crossed that's why there is no seven but there is nine as you can see nine id which for this person nine and their current position for this person for this person we have eight we have already eight so we are saving their current id and their current position now now here we are saving their current id and their current position now what we will do we can simply say as i mentioned now we know that the person id is inside our imp dictionary so we can simply call that id or we can simply say like this way if our track id if our track id if it is inside imp means if track id in imp our dictionary then we will create our next condition what is our next condition if the person touch our first line we are saving their id now same person will touch our second line and if the id is already inside our dictionary then we can say that the person is basically enter so for that same condition only we will change here our area so here copy the code and mention like this way because we already mention our cy1 so now cy2 cy2 and cy2 and then we will say that now the person is basically enter so draw the circle draw the rectangle and put the track id on their frame rectangle corner top left corner and then we want to know also the person means the class name so here what we will do for entering we will change the rectangle color 
let's just say here I will mention a blue color rectangle then we will get the idea save the code and if I run the code now watch uh, here this person is already cross our area pink color area that's why it's not track or it's not cutting watch for this person this person a blue color rectangle also there is a track id and we count this person is basically entering because this person is touch our pink color line also it's touching now our red color line that's why it's counting watch for this woman simple as you can see nine and here for exit there is no count there is no rectangle nothing watch for this watch for this person as you can see when this person cross over both area but there is no rectangle there is nothing because why we create a condition only for entering side we mention the condition if the person first touch our pink color line and the same person touch our red color line then we will say that the person is entering that's why it will it will not detect or it will not track for this frequency for exit frequency it will only go with enter frequency simple because we mention first pink color line and then we will mention red color line but if the person want to exit it will touch first red color line and then it will touch pink color line that's why it's not counting this uh, this position persons we can say this frequency person or we can say simply exit person so now we have done with entering so we will simply create a counter so now we are saving uh, we know that the person is basically enter so we can simply say because we have our unique id so we will create the list and inside that list we will save their unique id so already i have mentioned the variable so enter is the list so i will mention this is what our all condition and after that i will mention enter dot append and then i will mention track id and because there is some time to take the person cross our pink color line to red color line so meanwhile it will count a same id again again so we will mention the condition like this way if our enter list inside that list we are saving a unique id so if enter dot count what we are counting we are counting track id so we want to mention track id is equal to is equal to zero then only enter dot append now if you print here because we are saving id inside our enter list so length of list is basically our counter and i need to mention here what enter enter then like this one now if i save the code if i run the code now watch here right now there is zero because no count when the person touch the line both line we have our condition match and we have one means we count one person which is basically entering second two simple so now we are successfully counting so we can simply uh, put the counter on our frame so here i need to mention a variable so let's just say enter enter p is equal to length of our enter list and then i will copy paste cvzon put text rec method and then i will mention here where we have our counter and then here i will mention enter person enter person and then here i will mention our enter p variable and then i need to mention the coordinates so 50 60 is our frame coordinate where we want to put our uh, counter and 2 and 2 now save the code and if i run the code uh, let's just start our while loop right now we freeze our frame let's just start our while loop save the code run the code now as you can see we have our counter 0 1 2 we count two person is basically enter 
थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट देन दिस वन इज नाइन एंड देन वी हैव टेन सो टेन पर्सन then now same way only we will reverse our condition so first it will touch our red color line then it will touch our pink color line when the person touch our red color line we are saving their id inside our dictionary so now here let just copy paste our code so from let me first make like this way here we will mention a second part for exit and then i will copy paste our first code from here if to here copy it and then first check it is in line so we want to make like this way this is what my line and then just paste it check if it is in line again yes it is in line now we will as i mentioned we will reverse our condition first the person touch our second line means red color line so if c y2 in that time we are saving their unique id inside our new dictionary so i have created here a dictionary for exit exp so mention here exp here exp and we are saving their id and their current position then the track id inside our exp exp uh, then the person will person center point touch our cy1 our pink color line and then we are drawing the circle rectangle we are putting the track id on their top left corner all these things and then we will create a counter so for counter we want we have now our condition match then we are saving their unique id inside a list so for exit i have create here a list which is exit p so i will mention here exit p exit p and here also exit p exit p then all the condition all the way same and now here we will create our counter variable so exit p is equal to length of our list so our list here i because we already mentioned exit p so let's just change the variable let's just say exit p1 and then here exit exit p this is what our list and then we will put the exit p one list on our frame counter not list basically counter and here i will mention exit person exit person then our variable which is exit p one exit p1 and then 50 and 160 now save the code and let's just because we already mentioned our while loop all is good now let's just start our code now as you can see exit person 1 we counting a both side person for here we already count now 1 2 3 and we count here four person which basically exiting so we successfully create a counter which basically counting exit side and enter side simple so i mentioned the full code i hope you will learn something from this video we'll meet our next video till then thank you take care and bye bye